Hey, old guy geek here. If there's anything we love, it's our mobile toys, whether it's a laptop, tablet, or a phone. But they're hard to read, can't share them with anybody too easily. Uh, so we're going to talk today a little bit about the Microsoft Miracast adapter. It's been out for about a year now, and it's going to allow you to project your device, depending upon the device's capabilities, to a large format screen. Whether you have a plasma LCD, as long as you have the available ports on your TV, you can get one of these Miracast adapters, and then you can do things like browse the internet, do that in a family setting to share information, uh, do all those kind of things you like to do uh, online, but in a larger format. So that's what we're going to talk about today, Microsoft Miracast Adapter. Now one of the first things you need to do is determine if your TV has the proper connections. This is the back of my TV, and you can see there's no HDMI, there's HDMI, but there's no USB connection. Typically, at least on this system and other ones as well, uh, I went to the side of my TV and sure enough, there's a USB port and an HDMI right next to each other, which makes it perfect for installing the Miracast adapter. So uh, you have to find your ports first. So once you've determined you have the right connections on your TV, you can go out and buy your Miracast adapter. Now you can find these in a Microsoft Store or online. Uh, but anyways, I found it out there, and once you open up the box, you'll find it's just a very small adapter. It's simply a USB-powered uh, HDMI device with some wireless uh, circuitry inside. So the next thing I did is I plugged it into those side ports that we talked about, and sure enough, there it is, all plugged in, ready to go, no fuss, no mess. So once you go into your TV's menu using your TV control, you'll find the input setting and it should show up there. And as you can see, mine is HDMI 4. And as soon as I switch to that, it came up ready to connect. Uh, it'll come up with some other generic name. I had to go in there and rename it. There's some software for you to do that. So now we're ready to connect. So here's the view uh, from the laptop. I went to Devices and then to Project. And I went there and clicked on the Project button. And it goes out there and searches, and sure enough, it found the device, Home Theater. And once I tapped on that, uh, it attempted to connect up to the TV. So that's how simple it is to connect to it. So then we take a look from the internal view from the laptop, we look externally, and here's what the TV says, connecting to Geek Lenovo. And there it is. So once you connect, remember it's just a second screen. You can either duplicate or extend it. So if I swipe, if I say I want to watch the look at the new financial news, I click on the financial app. There it is, and I can just use my laptop to browse, sweep, uh, look at articles on the, in this particular case the money app. Now it does take a minute to get used to swiping on screen and well, viewing it on the internet, but you can just glance down, click on what you want to look at, and everything, and then uh, go to that article and then start reading the article and it's really easy to see especially with older eyes like mine on the large screen format or you're trying to show it to somebody or you could even use this instead of a traditional projector in a business uh, presentation you could use this as a second screen in a business presentation where you're showing people what to do now uh, again it's, you have to make sure your device i mentioned this in the beginning but it's capable uh this is a nova laptop the original yoga came out like a year and a half ago, two years ago, it does it does great, and probably most newer laptops will. Now this is a little harder to see, but I'm using a Toshiba, the original Mini Encore, the small seven-inch one, and it adds broadcast capability. And sure enough, it works for browsing the news, just small stuff. It doesn't require a lot of uh, activity. Uh, does great, looks great. Ignore the flickering. That's just the, the camera work. It has nothing to do. It doesn't flicker in real life. So you can do the same thing with a little mini tablet as you can with that. Uh, phones are a little more uh, sensitive. You have to make sure you have the right phone. Now I'm back on the Lenovo here, and I'm on my Amazon Prime account. Uh, I have uh, free uh, streaming from movies. This is uh, Jack Reacher, a movie that's available. Uh, and I can see it on my laptop down below the left-hand corner and on the big screen TV that you can see exactly what's going on with uh, the show and how you could stream from this. Uh, using the Amazon app or from the web browser right uh, from Amazon. And look, it's even in HD format, so which makes it, uh, there's no uh, bad quality here. Ultra high quality works really nice right from uh, through your laptop. 
Now I'm just showing a little bit of YouTube here. Again, I'm going to flickering. Uh, but you can do anything you want. You can do full screen, small screen, uh, whatever. And YouTube works basically essentially the same as movie streaming. Now gaming is a whole other animal. Certain types of games will run, some won't. I go to one of my favorites, Flight Simulator X. I have it installed on my laptop. Uh, it loads up. And you'll see here that it, uh, I'm on my big screen taking, watching it. Uh, and I can start a flight, do all the things, choose aircraft, do all the things I need to do. Uh, other high resolution games, yeah, maybe, maybe not. But the uh, point of it is here is that with certain things, you can't put desktop games and everything, even using DirectX 10 like this is, it should work fine for you. Uh, so, a uh, matter of fact, let me go make some configuration changes here and go ahead and launch it and there I am I'm on the tablet believe it or not this is a tablet and this is the big screen TV doing that uh, it's very low resolution on the tablet but uh, on the laptop you can play uh, with highly detailed buildings and everything now as I mentioned earlier is that you don't have to have it in, in duplicate mode you don't have to see the same thing if you connect up and you change it to the extend rather than duplicate then you end up with a thing that you can use for presentations. Well, on one screen, you'll see your second screen, just like if you hooked up a physical monitor to it. And on the other screen, you'll see the control panel, whatever you happen to be in. For example, if you're in PowerPoint, you've ever done a presentation, you're in PowerPoint reading your PowerPoint notes while people are seeing the presentation on the second screen. Uh, so it makes it very powerful for that. So that's the Microsoft Miracast adapter for 59 bucks. Great. You don't have to worry about upgrading applications, you know, like uh, Netflix and all that. You just access them on your laptop, project to your TV. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos. All here to help you make the most out of your system.